Hello everybody. So today I've decided to revisit the Leia Pix converter. And uh, the idea is to basically take a very scientific approach. I'm going to take I'm going to consider three like vintage realist stereo slides. I'm going to compute the depth map with a stereo photomaker and then I'm going to compare with what Leia Pix converter outputs. I think that's a very scientific approach. Okay, so Leia Pix converter, I, I made a video about this before, but I don't know, maybe it's uh, it has been improved since then. I'm sure it it has. I'm sure it has been improved, so it's, uh, it's, it's, I think it's a good idea to revisit it now. So, first off, you, first off, you have to create an account or log in with your Gmail. And here I'm using uh, Firefox. I know it, it had some problem with on uh, Chrome, so I use Firefox here. So here at the bottom, you just add your picture, your 2D picture. So I have my three pictures here. I'm just going to do one to show you because I already done this. So let's look at, uh, as you can see, I already have them. So this is the left, uh, the left chip of the slide. I mean, the chip, the left view of the uh, stereo slide. Uh, it's kind of a chip. So we're going to load that. And it gives you the wiggle wobble thing right away. And then you can, uh, here I'm not even sure what this does, but let's have a quick look. Oh, I see. So it, it, you can edit basically the way the wiggle moves if you want it slower, faster. Here you can move it along a, an horizontal line. So that would be good for if you want to make lenticulars. Uh, okay, and then more parallax or less parallax, and I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the um, the centering of the wobble, the wobble, the wiggle. What it, like here, it's uh, the background doesn't move, so I'm sure you can change that so that this guy doesn't move and the background moves. Again, that's important if you do lenticular. Okay, anyway, we are not here to talk about that. So how do you get the depth map? Okay, the, also let's look at uh, let's look at this. What 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 is this? Oh, okay, so this is to modify your depth map. Fine. So let's to dump to dump the depth map. You go into that share thing. And here you can save your device, which is what we are. Here you can save the so the wobble wiggle as a GIF or MP4, LIF. I don't know what that is. SBS, so you can save as a uh, side by side. Uh, 3D. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's a point cloud or a OBG file. But we are interested in the depth map. So let's click on that. So you want to do full size and save, and you get your depth map. Okay, so I've done already all that stuff. So now let's look at um, and in stereo photo maker. In stereo photo maker, I basically loaded the 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 slides and get got the depth map using the default. So let's compare. Okay, so that's the first one. So let's look at the depth map that's obtained with uh, Stereo Photomaker, which is DMAG, the DMAG stuff. Uh, so let's look at that. Okay, so that's what DMAG uh, gives you. Uh, little problem in the sky. Otherwise, uh, okay. You. 
you may want to uh, blur it a little bit to make it less jarring but okay so that's what the basically the default gives you so now let's look at what uh, let's look at what the layer pix converter outputs we already know that there's a problem in layer pix with that thing here I don't know what it's called the baton or something you see it's way back okay so let's I mean it's it's uh, pretty good the only problem is the back of the cart and uh, the thing here yeah. I don't know what it's called how is it called this thing Anyway, so that's the only thing wrong really with layer picks. Let's look at it again. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so that's the, that first one. So the second one, let's look at the second one. So this is this picture. Can we maybe make it a little bit bigger? please okay so that's my picture again it's a realist slide so it's from the 50s so let's look at what stereo photomaker does okay i mean a little problem here and uh, in most cases you would have to you would have to edit it a little bit to fix things and probably blur it a little bit okay so that's uh, spm so now let's look at the layer 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 pix converter okay so this is a little bit a little bit too much in front i think but other than that, it's very good. A little problem here on the lamp. But other than that, it's right on the money. I mean, here it would be nice to have a little bit of a gradient. But, I mean, this is pretty good. Very good. Very good indeed okay last one i should have done more than more than three but hey okay so another 50 nice 50 slide uh, is that the washing machine here okay interesting okay so again spm okay what's going on here yeah this is wrong wrong depth here yeah. but other than that not too bad okay let's look at the uh, layer pix converter uh, yeah not bad i think this might be a little bit to in front of her and the face is not on the same plane as the shoulders but uh, same thing here there's too much difference in depth but okay uh, the gradient there's a gradient on the table so it's not bad and uh, yeah this is a um yeah it's okay yeah it's good okay so another another great uh, depth map from uh, layer pix converter okay well so i was looking at this thing this and the site so they use depth fee for the uh, the wobble wiggle and the uh, depth map correction stuff i mean if you remember that web that, that website and the boosting monocular 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 depth Okay, so I, I made a video about this also. Mm, but I don't remember it being being that good, but 
I mean, in terms of uh, like open source and stuff that you can use beside beside the uh, Leia Pix converter, you can use Midas, but use the late use the latest version, Midas three version three, and you can use Boosting Monocular Depth, but you you need to use uh, Google Collab if you use Hugging Face. There is a bug in the, in the code, and I think I mentioned that in a in a previous video. There's a, there's something wrong with the code. Like if you if you do a portrait and you get the depth map, you're gonna see like a like a thin uh, ghost along the uh, the edge of the head, let's say, and it's a, it's a bug, but nobody fixed it. So so anyway, I mean. I've I've I worked on DevMap from Stereo Pair for quite some time, and uh, the people in the computer vision circle uh, have been working on that for a very very long time. And uh, it seems that uh, AI can create depth maps from a single image that are as good as good as uh, SPM or the best. Uh, stereo depth map uh, generators. So, I mean, two, three years ago, if you had told me that uh, I think in the very near future you're going to be able to create depth maps from single images, I would have said that you're, yet you're crazy. No way. But uh, you have to face the reality. I mean, the power of uh, AI is just unbe unbelievable, especially in the field of computer vision. So, you know, I guess you have to bow to the overlords and accept that. So, and that's why I don't work on dev maps from stereo pairs and all that stuff. I mean, it's now it's a complete waste of time. The field is advancing so fast and uh, clearly, I mean, it's just so much better than anything else. So anyway, enough of that. Uh, I think I'm going to stop now. If you like this kind of content, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel. All right. See you. Bye.